Hello IT Savvy Cadets, my name is Cadet Tristan McKenzie from Company C3 and I am your ISNCO. Um, so if you're watching this video, you probably watched my previous video on how to connect to a printer and you're having one of two issues. One, you can't even make it past the first step of accessing the printers. Or two, you have connected to a printer and you are unable to print even though the printer is online. So, addressing the first problem, um, you would want to, this first problem would simply look like if you're typing in print.westpoint.edu backslash. Um, oh, it looks like I'm not connected to the network. Yeah, no, I am. Backslash, backslash, print.westpoint.edu backslash. You would hit enter. Now, when you hit enter, typically these printers pop up. Now, if you're having a problem where you're not even getting this and your computer stalls and then it gives you an error saying unable to process or just any red X and says unable to go through, it's most likely because you don't even have the printer network on your, your device. And um, so that can be solved through Credential Manager going on Windows credentials and then making sure that you have this this network here print.westpoint.edu and if you don't you would want to hit add a Windows credential and type that in and then type in your credentials here and then your password and then you hit OK um, now if you are connected to a printer and you're getting this error whenever you try to print um, it's kind of linked to that issue. What happens is it's when you change your credentials and um, like you change your password and it's not uploaded in that network. So in the following skit, I'm going to show you how you go about fixing that issue. Enjoy. Sam is still learning at practicum to become a software engineer, but already receives job offers. Oh my gosh, thank goodness I am done with my MA-103 homework. I am so excited. This problem set took me all week. Um, I just gotta print it. But I'm connected to the printer and uh, it, I even have it on my printers and scanners. Like when I pull it up right here, I can, hold on, let me see right here. Yeah, right there, I can scroll down and I see the C3 printers right there, but it's just not printing. I don't know what's going on. Go to the help desk. Oh my gosh. Who is that? It is me, the ISO. Oh my gosh, ISO Liebel, thank God you're here. I'm having some trouble printing out my MA-103 problem set, and um, I'm connected to the printer. I watched your video on YouTube, and I'm, whenever I try to print, I keep getting this error. It says, operation cannot be completed. The local print spooler service is not running. I don't even know what this means. What should I do? Did you try boiling water? Uh, no. I Well, I did yesterday for my ramen. Did you try running the fair and back? Uh, I did in between boxing and uh, my dirt class, but what else do you think I should try? Uh, did you try getting a 600 on the ATF team? Oh my gosh, I didn't think of that. Wait. By all that, do you mean that possibly my credentials have expired and I have to go into Credential Manager? found right here and go into Windows credentials and look at my print.westpoint.edu Windows credential and then I have to edit the credentials and change my password because I didn't change it after I was prompted to change it a month ago? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you fixed that for me. Okay, so that was a pretty easy fix. Um, but what if I have this problem again in the future and I can't revert back to you and you're not here anymore. What should I do then? Uh, do you try eating a job cut your peanut butter? Um, I could try that, yes, uh, for a good food post storage, but um, what if that doesn't work after that? Do you try joining Black and Gold? 
joining Black and Gold Sandhurst team. Uh, I did, but they were too cool, so I had to go on to my company Sandhurst team, which is actually cooler. Um, but after that, like, what do you think would be a good way? Uh, I think you gotta try losing your laundry in class. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do that every time, every week, uh, every Tuesday, actually. Um, wait, by all that, do you mean to say that I can just go onto help.westpoint.edu, help.westpoint.edu, and I can then follow the questionnaire box to go to printer issues, and then hit the second link for Konica Minolta, unable to print, and then follow these same printing preferences for putting my authentication into this, this, uh, into this app? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Thank you so much. That was super helpful. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. That was, uh, I'm Cadet McKenzie, and I'm the ISO for, uh, ISNCO for company C3. Um, if you saw my, uh, earlier video on how to connect to a printer, I went through these steps here found on the help desk, um, just simply connecting to a printer. And if you were able to follow those and you did not, uh, you were not able to connect to the, or not even that, but you were, you were able to connect, but you weren't able to print, then yes, yeah, so you can use the steps that I just outlined earlier. Um, again, those can be found on help.westpoint.edu um, at this fourth link here, this unable to connect to Ren printer. And it'll walk you through the steps that I just went through in that little skit of typing your credentials into a new, uh, this new browser, not new browser, this new um, internet or network. So what you'll do is you'll go into Credentials Manager, you'll select Windows Credentials and add Windows Credentials. So I'm going to go into Credential Manager, Windows Credential, and then I already have it in there, but if you didn't have print.westpoint.edu in here, what you would do is you would hit add, and then you would type print.westpoint.edu, and then you would type in your credentials. These are your Windows credentials. Now, whenever you change your Windows password, your Office 365 password, you will have to change it manually in this um, Windows credential manager app. You will have to change it like nine times out of ten for this for this uh, this network, or or else you won't be able to print. Um, so that's going to be the root of most of your problems for uh, for printing. Uh, and again, that's the third, not third. I believe that's the fourth link, one, two, three, fourth link on help.westpoint.edu when you type in printer. Uh, the first link is connecting to a printer. And then this second link that I hit on, this is the Konica Minolta unable to print uh, uh, document. All right, so let's say you uh, went through those, those steps that I showed you earlier and you still can't print. You, what you can do is you can type in uh, control panel into your uh, little search tab there and then you'll select devices and printers view devices and printers and then it should pull up a screen that has all the devices that you've connected to I'm gonna go to my printer which is C3 and I'm going to right click and then select printing preferences and then I'm gonna select this button here the authentication slash account track and then most times it's going to be on recipient user and if you're having troubles using the printer when you're on recipient user you can switch it to public user hit OK hit apply hit OK again and then once you're done with that you can then restart your computer and attempt printing again okay so I hope this was helpful um, in this video we talked about uh, what to do if you're connected to your company printer and uh, you're not able to print. Uh, we went through the process of checking your credentials and editing them and making sure that they were up to date and also the process of changing your authentication uh, printer preferences through uh, control panel. You can also, uh, this is in my previous video on um, printers, but you can also go into command prompt and you can ping, literally ping the printer that you're trying to print from to see if it's on the network. So if you're connected to Wi-Fi, uh, the REN, 
and the printer is connected to the REN, then you should use this. You can use this fancy coding to uh, uh, to ping it and see if it's on the network. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll just simply type in ping, and then um, I'll have my I'll talk to my ISO and I'll ask them to find the uh, pin number for the printer. And it's it's literally too easy to find. It's just in on the screen of the printer. If you select um, like user information or printer information, like the pin number is right there. But I already know it by heart. It's 10.60.10.33. So that's the pin number of my printer. And I'm going to select minus T. So what this is going to do is it's going to ping my printer continuously. And then it's going to, if the printer is on the line, it'll reply to me. And here, I'm, as you can see, I'm getting a reply. Now, for most people, if you're getting a reply, that means that the printer is on the network. But you might not be able to print still because you don't have the credentials to print there. So if that is the case, you might end up getting an error where you get reply from the printer, but you're getting in here instead of getting the bytes and the the data on the printer, you'll get like some some sort of message like uh, can't or like I guess uh, response was was stopped at user or something like that. You'll get some some sort of like error where it's saying like declined by user or something like that and that could be an indicator that it's on your end but if you're getting a reply regardless and you're continuously getting a reply your printer is on the network and it's an error with your computer and most likely it has to do with your credentials alright so thank you for watching this little video uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you like these videos and you want me to continue making more of them uh, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, hit the comments down below if you want me to make videos on an IT problem you're struggling with. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.